Hey, welcome back to the cabin, my friends. I thought I'd do a review of my Maple Wi-Fi internet. Um, I've had it for about, I'd say probably running it for about maybe five months. Um, so I'll, I'll review it. So some of the things I'll look at is the installation of it, the speeds, um, the reliability of the internet, and some of the cons as well of Maple Wi-Fi, the actual organization. And uh, yeah, and I'll just sum up, would I actually, you know, commission this again or purchase it? Okay, so if we look at um, some of the positives of Maple Wi-Fi, I guess one of the biggest positives for me was the fact that there is no installation required. So you don't need someone to actually come up and install your internet. Um, this is some of the, this is one of the major barriers that I found um, because I live remotely and, you know, there's no road up to my cabin and I'm about a, probably a, a, about a, a kilometer and a half or a mile from the road. I don't have any power apart from the power I produce through my solar panels. So I'm totally off grid. Um, so a lot of the providers I looked at in Canada, they just wouldn't come up to me because there was no road. Um, and I didn't fit in a box or anything like that so they didn't really know what to do with me to be honest and I sort of came across Maple Wi-Fi by accident really I think I was just searching on YouTube or I can't remember what platform but someone just came up and said oh yeah I've, you know I've got Maple Wi-Fi and so I checked it out and I ordered it and it came in the post I think it was shipped from California I think it took about maybe a week or so um, and I, I guess one of the main things I like about it is that all you have to do is literally just plug it in. If you have cell phone, um, if you have a strong cell phone signal where you are, or if there's a tower um, close to you, well then this Maple Wi-Fi will work for you. I mean, I knew there was a tower because my own mobile phone, I was able to, you know, to use my internet, but because you don't really get unlimited internet in Canada. They just, they, once you meet your, your data cap, they slow your internet down so you can't even use it. So um, I knew I had data up at the cabin. So what I liked about Maple Wi-Fi is like, as I said, you just, you just plug it in and it'll pick up the signal and then you just connect to it and you're good to go. Um, the other thing I like about it as well is the fact that you can go in and you can pick the provider you want. So if you do opt to go for something with Maple Wi-Fi, um, it might be useful for you to, to look at the three main providers. So for where, where I am in Ontario, there is Bell, Rogers, and TELUS. And for me, the Bell provider was the best internet, the most stable for Maple Wi-Fi. I think they just piggyback off the Canadian providers. Um, so you get unlimited data so you can download to your heart's content and they don't restrict your speed which I find really really good um, it, as I said it's easy to set up and you don't really you don't you know there's no hassle to be honest I mean I think you can fit an external area aerial if you want to get stronger signal I mean I get it between two and three bars on my maple Wi-Fi and that seems to to be fine for me because I've got two cameras that run off my Wi-Fi in the cabin. And also I just had my daughter over from England and her partner. So they were in the cabin and they were stream both of them were streaming. I was streaming and there was no problem with the, you know, the, the strength of the Internet. There wasn't the circle of doom or anything like that. So I guess that's what really um, that was for me. That was the, the final sort of test, as you say. Um, because it was only me up here so like it, you know it's been fine but I didn't know what it would be like if other people came up and they're all streaming on their devices I didn't know if what Maple Wi-Fi was if it was going to be any good or not will it be able to cope and it certainly coped fine um, both of them my my daughter and her partner they were streaming and I was streaming as I say and it was great no one there was no buffering or anything so yeah it was really good so I did look at the only other option I had for up at the cabin was Elon Musk's Starlink. And last year, 
it wasn't available in my area in Ontario, so I couldn't even purchase it even if I wanted to. But looking back now on it, reflecting on it, I mean, if you were to go with Starlink, there is an initial charge for all the equipment, and it was quite substantial. I think it was around 800 bucks, which is a lot of money that you got to pay for the equipment. And also, um, the monthly payment, say you're not up at your cabin or your cottage or wherever you live, if you're not living there continuously, you still have to pay your monthly fee if you're not even there. And what I like about Maple Wi-Fi is that I'm here during the summer months for about six months and then I go back to England and I can just suspend my service and they don't charge me. So I came back in May this year and I contacted them and I had to pay 20 bucks and they just they sent me a new SIM card and I was good to go. So yeah, I'm you know well impressed. So that's another positive for me is that I don't have to pay for it when I'm not using it. And Starlink and some of the other Canadian providers, you've got to pay regardless if you're using it or not. So that that will probably add quite a bit of money, you know what I mean? It would cost quite a bit. So for me, I'm saving all that money for the months I'm not here in the cabin. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm well impressed. I guess if we look at the cons of this system, I think one of the major cons, I wish they had a telephone help desk number. They just don't have that. So if you're not like, IT savvy or anything like that you got to email them then you got to wait for response you could wait 24 hours or sometimes even longer for before they they email you back and it would make sense if they just had a you know a toll-free number you could just phone up and speak to a technician and then they can sort it over the phone with you or talk it through with you and I think th the main thing I'm talking about is changing the provider and stuff like that um, once they sent me the instructions, it was fine, but I had to wait until they returned my email, which, you know, wasn't, I mean, it didn't happen for, I think it was around 24 hours before they came back to me. And that was no good because I wanted my internet and I wanted it working. So I had to wait. So that's definitely a con. Um, and the cost, I think the cost, I think it's $155 Canadian a month. And that's pretty well, pretty similar to other providers in Canada. So I mean, it's expensive for me, you know, because I when I'm in when I'm in Britain, the internet and mobile phone market there is so competitive that you know it costs you know British people so much less than can than what Canadians would pay in Canada for your cell phone data, your and your internet at home. It's just so expensive in Canada, but that's just the reality of living in Canada. You can't do anything about it. So. Uh, what I'd advise you to do is if you live somewhere remote or rural, I would advise you to look at, there is a website you can go to. I'll just look at my notes here. It's called um, cellmapper.net. And if you type that into your, your mobile phone or cell phone, it will tell you where your nearest cell phone is. So if there's a cell phone in your area. So I did that and I know exactly where the, my cell phone tower is. So if I was to put in an external area, I know exactly where it is. For me, it's southwest uh, of my cabin. Uh, I don't know how far it is from my cabin. It's obviously fairly close because, you know, I get two to three bars. And my download speeds as well, they're about 32 megabytes per second. And upload speeds can be anything from around three. Well, today I was getting seven, which is the highest I've ever had. But normally it's around three to five. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty good pretty darn good speeds for living in the middle, middle of nowhere to be honest so I'm well impressed with the speeds I can download I can do everything on the internet I can upload my YouTube um, all my YouTube stuff uh, all my films and stuff like that um, so yeah I'm well impressed I can you know speak to my family in the UK Skype them and what have you and it is nice to, I'm not on the internet all the time but it's nice to be able to have it and also, when I'm outside, the Wi-Fi, it works probably about 40 feet, like a circumference of about 40 feet around the cabin. So I can be outside chopping wood and I can just listen to music via Wi-Fi. Because um, I, I only have one, I only catch one station up here. So it's not a very good station either. So I listen to music on, on, uh, on Wi-Fi. So I can just be outside, connect with my Wi-Fi in the house and, you know, and I'm good to go, really. 
Um, so yeah, so I run two, I've got two like security cameras as well and it works that fine. Um, and as I said, I had my daughter and her partner up here and they were streaming, I was streaming, the cameras were connected and we had no problems whatsoever. So yeah, I'm, I'm well impressed. Um, so yeah, so this is the unit I have. So this is it here. So it's only like the size of a, like a hockey puck. Um, so it's got a USB charger on it. So it lasts about eight hours. So you don't have to keep, you don't have to have it plugged in continuously. Um, and what I do is I just, well, I do plug it in and I stick it on my window behind me to the left. And that seems to be the best spot for cell phone connection. So I get about, I've got three bars now. Um, so yeah, last year I had this unit here, this big bulky unit, because I thought, okay, if I have these external antennas, I thought because I live in the boonies, that the signal would be better. But when I came back in May, for some reason, the SIM card slot was broken and wasn't picking it up. So I contacted Maple Wi-Fi and they just sent me a replacement and they sent me this little unit here for no charge at all. So that's really nice of them. So yeah, so they sent me this and this has been working brilliantly. I've got no complaints on this little thing. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Um, so yeah, would I purchase Maple Wi-Fi again? I think I would, yeah. Um, it's been pretty reliable. I haven't had any problems, you know, last last autumn I was watching a hockey game streaming that and I was streaming the playoffs uh, in June and I had no problems at all. Um, so yeah, so I, I'm well impressed. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, no, I think that's about it. So yeah, so cheers for watching. And if you do like my videos, uh, please give me a thumbs up or you know, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, uh, but it's entirely up to you. Okay. Cheers for watching and take care.